As the technology landscape continues to evolve, current users of Beetrieve and Pervasive-based solutions often report the same challenges. Not only do these databases not fit into most of today's cloud strategies, but many companies have found it difficult to find knowledgeable developers experienced with these products. That, along with a clear lack of industry standard integrations, has left many Beetrieve and Pervasive customers frustrated as the prices continue to go up. Companies interested in moving to a new database generally have two options. One, perform a monolithic system migration and a full-blown rewrite of sometimes millions of lines of code and business logic. Or two, maintain their current solution, which will continue to limit access to modern tools, the cloud ecosystem, and future innovation. Both of these options, unfortunately, come with a significant opportunity cost. Well, now there's a third option that provides a clear and affordable path forward. With BTR to SQL, you can quickly and easily migrate your existing data to a modern SQL solution without the need to rewrite or recompile your existing code. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can use your DDFs to migrate your Btrieve solutions to modern SQL solutions in less than five minutes. And in many cases, there are zero code changes required. Before we start, there are a few prerequisites. Btrieve or Pervasive, a schema defined in Pervasive DDFs version 7 or higher, and the .NET framework. Here we have a multi-tenant system containing hundreds of thousands of records spanning across three separate video rental locations. Each location contains eight Btrieve data files, including customers, staff, films, rentals, payments, etc. You'll notice that each location has its own folder containing its own DDFs. Before we begin the migration process, we will create a copy of the application folder containing our movie rental executable. This step is not required, but it will allow us to include the additional files needed for the migration without altering the original application. This will also come in handy later for testing and comparing the two solutions. Once we have our new application folder set up, there are three files that will be needed in order for the application to communicate with our SQL server once it is created. The WBTRV32 DLL can be found in the deploy slash MSSQL folder included in the Btrieve install. The SQL BTR DLL and SQL BTR config files are located in the bin folder. As we launch our application again, you will notice it was designed to detect these files and assist in creating a simple SQL database if one does not already exist. Normally, an existing SQL database with proper permissions and logins would be required. If you need further assistance with this step, please contact our consulting department and they will be happy to assist you. Once the necessary files have been copied and the SQL database has been created, we are ready to begin the migration process. When launching BTR to SQL, we are first required to log in to our newly created SQL database. It is worth noting that BTR to SQL currently has support for MSSQL, MySQL, Oracle, and PostgreSQL. For this example, we are using MSSQL. Now that we are logged in, we can begin to locate and import our DDF files containing the schema definitions. There are four in total one for the overall rental system, and one for each store location. As we import our system schema, we will see that it references a single Btrieve file called stores. This file contains specific information about each store location and will be migrated to an SQL table with the same name. We can do this by selecting the field and clicking the icon labeled Convert Btrieve Files to SQL Tables. This will launch the Convert File Wizard that can be used to customize specific settings for this migration. In many cases, no additional configuration is needed, but we will go ahead and specify that our stores table be created under the system schema. Click OK, and that's it. We can now see that our database contains a stores table under the system schema. Next, we will import store1's data. This time, we can see that it references eight different Btrieve data files. We can use the All button to select all of the fields, and again, we will click the Convert button. This time, we will specify the Store 1 schema and click OK.
Another quick look at our database will show that we now have eight tables under the Store 1 schema. We will repeat the same process for Stores 2 and 3, and that's it. We now have an SQL database containing all of the data from our Btrieve data files. As we launch our Movie Rental executable one last time, we are prompted to log in to our SQL server and database. We are now using the BTR to SQL driver to connect our Btrieve application to our newly created SQL backend. As you can see, we are able to perform all of the same operations and the driver handles all of the necessary translations seamlessly.